Hi YouTube, this is Penny F9, and this is the first update of the, of, our, of me and my brother's new train layout. As you can see, we just finished it. It's two 4x8 tables put together. This is as far as we got so far. i explain a little, bit, a little bit about the trains I have, and some other cool things. If you're wondering what this is, this is a billboard made by Railfan 8845. He does not make these for everybody. He'll make a tutorial video on how to do it. You should subscribe to him. He he did he did a very good job. He also made another one for all you O and W fans. He made an O and W one. I think that's 403. I forget which engine that is. But he did, he did a nice job. Yeah, the things broke off on the back. I gotta fix that. Alright, here's my MTH 28 consolidation. It's got lo it's got loco sound, not proto sound. Yeah, that's I know it sucks. So, uh, what else? Uh, we have, these are the Wayhauser Way Timber Company cars. Oh, hold on, my TV's too loud. Alright. Hey, we got some scrap here. Some old pickup trucks. As you can see. MTH tanker car. This is rare right here. As you can see. This was, hold on, hold on, let me get it in the light, alright, this was a Toy Train Collector Association exclusive, it's got the cowboy, and you know, when it rolls, that guy pops up, I can show you, like, well, turning the gear on the bottom, see, and he fell down, uh, th these are very rare, I picked this up at a gun show, my little brother picked it out for about 40 bucks. Brand new in the box, even with the papers. I'll show you what that does in a minute. Alright, what I have here... That's an 060. The, front, the smoke box was painted by Railfan 845. This is a very old Santa Fe diesel. This was of my dad's when he was a kid. But it's got no motor. He gave it to someone when he was a kid, and he got it back like this. So, gotta find a new motor for it. This is my little brother's Pennsylvania 40 tonner that he that I that my brother bought on eBay. I forget how much. All right, what I have here is a uh, Lionel turbine from the 50s. The reason why it looks like this is because I bought, I got this from my uncle's house when I cleaned it out. Because he used to own a hobby store and this was in the basement. It's got, it's got no motor so it's just free wheels. See, so just free wheels. I got, I'll, I'll, I'll restore that one of these days. And here's a special treat. Uh, Santa Fe. It's got no motor either. This was found in the ba in my uncle's basement. I'll restore this another day too. But for now, I'll just sit here. A battered Atlas Long Island Diesel. Bought that at a train show some uh, a couple of years ago. Uh -huh, let me turn the transformer off. I'm just wasting electricity. Uh, Here's my Hogwarts Express. It it does, it needs a little tuning because this has been played with a lot. I'm not. A, I I didn't break this. It's been played with. It's fallen off the track. And I got this when my little brother was like four, so he used to run the trains at top speed. The tender's fine. It, it runs, but it's just missing some parts. I'll get some new parts for it soon. Okay. Alright, this is one of my first Lionels. This was given to one of my dad's friends, the Scout. It doesn't run for some reason. It used to run. I don't know. The motor. Something wrong with the motor. 
Uh, I'll figure it out. And what I have here, this is just some cheap, this is just some plastic train that I bought on eBay not that long ago. I bought it for a reason. It's based on Virginian Trucky number 26. I forget the name of it. It's JK something. I don't know. For all you people who know the Virginian Trucky Railroad, you'll figure it out. See? That's that water heater thingy. No thing right there. That's where the smoke comes out. Uh, if I find batteries, it's giving you a little paint job to make it look realistic because it's very shiny. Oh, here's the cars that came with it. They're very ch flimsy. Here's the other one. It's not that great, but I bought it mostly for the locomotive. I, I bought this at my... at, a, at the pharmacy store near me. They sold these I don't know, to you guys, to some people it looks like a cheap train set, but really, it, to me, I could use it. It also, it also came with this tender. I had a, like a wood load in here, but I took it out because it looked so damn cheesy. I also got a ton of these passenger cars. See, I got a ton of them. Yeah, that brings us to this box here. Oh, wait, hold on. I have a light over here. It's just, uh, just some other things I have. Uh, I don't know if you can see that. Alright, now you can. It just got some things in it. It just got some things in it. It's the shell to a... Like a train and line I made in the 60s. I have them... I'm fixing the motor. It won't run. Gotta add a little super glue or something. But I'll have that running. Bunch of this garbage track that I probably won't ever use. I'll use it for like train wrecks or something. I don't know. Yeah, uh, what else? Oh, th this building is from a new bright, a G gauge new bright set. It had a bottom, but I took it off to make it fit w with everything. That's that's cool. Let's see what else we have. I I said that already. Uh, let's go. Let's move along to the other side. These came with that train set. This came. Watch out! Oh, now I know what I forgot. Move. Yes. I go underneath the table. It's the box uh, train from like 2000 or so. I also bought it mainly because it comes with these telegraph poles. Telegraph. Oh, a lot of signs which are on the layout somewhere over there. Here's the back of the box. But the box isn't too important. Uh. Uh, what else do I have? Oh, I want to show you what this does. As I said before, this locomotive has loco sound. It's like Protosound 1 or something. I don't know. It's not, it's not Protosound. I, w I wish I got, I got this last year for Christmas. I wish it was... Oh, here's a very old Lionel tender. I'd rather not put this on the track because the old does it just make sparks. Alright. Give this a run. Uh-huh, I might have I might have some batteries for that. Hold on there, guys. Alright. Here, I got some batteries for this. For this. 
Hold on a minute, guys. I gotta get this in. Ah, get in. That's. A... Alright, I'll just run it on this track and I'll show you what it does. Okay. Ah. Oh, epic fail. Alright, epic fail what I just did. Track isn't some of the track is crooked, so uh, yeah, I'll fix it eventually. Uh, what else do I got to say? Hmm. Um. Uh. Did this already? Uh, I do that. I lost my train of thought. I did that. Well, I guess that's about it. Nothing else to review. Yeah, that's about it. Alright. I did. I hope everybody has a happy holiday, and we'll see you. I'll make another update after Christmas.